So greetings from Pennsylvania, and we're still down here in Lancaster County filming a couple of covered bridges. Like I said, I have somewhere, I'm planning on being a little bit later today in the area, so I thought I'd get some covered bridges here. I think I have, well, two more. I just did one prior to this video. I think I just have two more here to do in Lancaster County, at least the ones on public land. I think there might be at least one or maybe another one that's on private land, which we'll see if we can get to those or not sometime. So we just did the uh, Jackson's Mill covered bridge. Right behind us here is the White Rock Forge covered bridge. Here's our first view of it. This is still the uh, west branch of the Octorora Creek. There's some parking here. This is the uh, Slumbering Groundhog Lodge. Don't really know anything about it, but I assume you can park here. <laughs> anyway, this is, well, this is White Rock Road. We're not too far from Route 472 up that way, near Bartville. And this bridge is 103 feet long. This one's weight limit of five tons. Last one we did was four. Yeah, White Rock Forge covered bridge. 1884, but it was originally built in, uh, the first bridge I was here was in 18, back in 1847, there was a bridge here. I'm assuming it was a covered bridge. But yeah. Oh yeah, heavy rains began on the night of June 1884 and the Octagora Creek became a roaring river higher than it was ever known. The bridge at White Rock Forge described as one of the finest bridges around was quickly swept away again. Wow. Nearby citizens rallied to make to build a makeshift crossing by gathering timbers from the old bridge or swept downstream. They worked together and built a substantial temporary bridge for only 47 cents. Wow. Yeah, as the original builder, there's Joseph Russell, and the guy who re rebuilt it was Elias McMillan, who built a lot of them here in Lancaster County, but my notes have a, a different guy on there too, John Dougal, as having helped build this one. And this is going to be our familiar friend, the Burr Arch Trust. That's a, just looking over here, it's a beautiful view of the creek here. Man, imagine living there. They're probably pl prone to flooding right there, though. I'm trying, trying to see. We might be able to get down this way, anyway. I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to think ahead here. Anyway, 103 feet long. Yeah, there's our, there's our burr arch. Yeah, the Jackson's Mill was, what, 100, almost 140, so a little bit shorter, but still a nice long one to walk across. This one smells too, it has a smell to it. So I'm not sure when it's, it looks like there's some new wood in here. So it's seen some rebuilding. Ooh, is this a, a flood marker? Oh, this is the township line. Okay, I was wondering if they're pointing to something like this is where the floods came up to, but no, it's just the township line. All right. We've been to cover bridges where they show you know, the flood marks when a bridge wasn't washed away. Got some more of those, ooh, tons of those mud dauber nests under here. Other, other nests. So if you walk, if you come here in the summertime to walk across this bridge, just keep an eye out. Yeah. You know, a bunch of them up there too. Yeah, but there's our king post. See here they have the date, 1849 on here. That's when this was originally built, but like I said, this was rebuilt in 1885 then. So nothing on this bridge is from, probably from that 1849 era. That's when it was originally built. That's the way it often is with these covered bridge dates. There's so many different, depending on which websites you look at, they have differing dates all the time to when they were built, when they were rebuilt. So just gotta keep that in mind. The dates get a little confusing sometimes. All right, this is this is peaceful back here too. The other one we were at earlier today, Jackson's Mill was peaceful. This one too is. I haven't seen a single vehicle come through yet. Of course, just as soon as I say that one will come through, maybe. But yeah, so another quiet one. There's plenty of parking up at that Groundhog Lodge. There's no there aren't any uh, posted signs there, so you could probably park there and take a walk across, like I am. Let's finish our walk. This one too has huge beams. I mean, they all do, but sometimes they just feel or look larger. These have an old feel to them, too. All right. Let's see if we can get some views of this bridge. 
Let's head this way first. Yes, this one gives us a view on the shady side. I'll take a picture, but I'm not sure how that will work over there. But I always take a couple pictures because you never know. That'll work though. All right, let's head over here. Yeah, if we take a picture over here, these signs are going to be in the way, but let's just walk up here anyway. I think our best shot will be taken from up there somewhere, maybe. But I think it's, I don't know if that's fenced in over there. We'll see. Um, so yeah. Nice view, but got those, all these signs in the way. Okay, let's get some of them out of the way, maybe. No, well, that's not too bad. All right, let's head across. Head, head across. Head across again. Like always, I just love the old, old woodwork. A timber frame look. I'd love to. So <laughs> somewhere in my dreams, I think about building an old building. It well. I don't know, but building like a timber frame house or something like they did in the old days. Yeah, some some new wood up on the roof here too. Looks like this one's a metal roof. Oh, lots, a ton more of those wasp nests too. They really like this one. All right, let's see if we can get some better views over here. Head over here. This is the shady side again, but may have to do. That's not too bad. I think we can get down to the creek from here too. Look underneath. That's a nice scenic picture, but let's get down. I think we can get right down here. Let's say, how about, mm -hmm. the other one today did not have steel beams. The longer one. I'm gonna say no, I might regret this. Oh, got a vehicle coming across. And I'm right this time. Oh, there's someone's bike down here. By a local. Yeah, no steel beams. Cool. This one we can actually get underneath and see. Yeah, wow. Always a beautiful view. Looking both ways. Alright, but I'd like to see if I can get a nice sunny side shot over here. Yeah, there's an electric fence over here. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's just get up here. Maybe we'll walk up the road a little ways. Let's see if we could. We have to zoom in maybe a little bit. Let's do that. Yeah, it's going across here too. All right, let's just head up here. All right, I think this will work. It's a little bit far away, but with the power of zoom we can take care of that there I think that's the shot I'm looking for right there just one telephone pulling away but maybe I'll take a few another picture or two from it zoomed out a little bit more well so if you come for a little walk up this way you do get a nice photography opportunity there if that's what you're looking for let's head back down huh and we'll take one last look. Of course, it's the typical colors, white facing and red on the sides. And unpainted on the inside. I like the natural look on the inside. A little bit of red here and there, they painted. But the, I mean, I guess the, uh, the sides on the inside are painted red here, but the actual beams are, I like to see the actual color of the beams. Yeah, but there you go. Actually, the floor looks a little bit newer in some places some horse poo. <laughs> That's probably from the local Amish farm. It's the one farm we saw where this side was an Amish farm. I have the horse and buggies. Yeah, but that's it. That's one more last look here at White Rock Forge Covered Bridge. But you know what's coming next? We're gonna take the Jeep and go ahead and drive across this one. And then we got one more to visit today. I think, I believe it's the longest one here in Lancaster County. So you may know which one that is. But anyway, let's go ahead and drive across. Let's leave the slumbering Groundhog Lodge. Head across the White Rock Forge covered bridge. Yeah, that's the Amish farm over there. 
At least it looks like one. All right, well, there we go. So we're headed to one more. I gotta turn left here. So hopefully I see you there. We'll see if you can guess which one I'm headed to. It's the longest one in Lancaster County. 